Hey guys, welcome back to Now I Know. Today we are talking about lethal alleles. Since we have already spoken about what are genes and alleles, what is heterozygosity, homozygosity, that would make this video very easy to understand. Now, as the term itself suggests, that lethal alleles are the alleles that are lethal for an individual. That means presence of these alleles kills an individual. These are nothing but mutated version of a gene, okay, which is going to be uh, lethal when it is present. Now, lethal alleles uh, are categorized under two conditions based on you know whether they are lethal in heterozygous or homozygous condition. They are categorized in two types, and we will see both one by one. The first type is recessive lethal mutation. This, as the term itself suggests, is lethal when it is in recessive condition. That means when it is in homozygous condition when both the alleles that are present are mutated they are going to kill the individual it is going to be lethal for the individual now this let's take an example and understand what this exactly means and actually this is how this lethal allele concept was discovered by the scientists uh, that is what stu that's particular study we are going to take as an example okay so say for example uh, we have uh, one group where we have mice that are having a gooty skin color coat and for that they have genes capital A capital A that is what we are going to show so this is a normal wild type gene that codes for a gooty skin color so when you cross them this is what you are going to get all the mice would have capital A capital A as their genotype and they will be having a gooty skin color coat now in this case say for example one of the allele okay out of these two one of the allele is mutated and becomes the lethal allele that changes the outcome of the uh, genotype so let's see what happens when one of the allele is mutated all right so now i have a second group where one of the allele uh, is mutated and we are going to show it as capital a y uh, and when you cross them this is what is uh, going to be the punnett square and you know if you follow the uh, mendel's uh, rule you would expect 3 is to 1 ratio in your uh, fn generation right but instead of that what scientists found was there was uh, one agouti and two yellow and there was a no homozygous uh, recessive condition found okay so when you take this this is what is happening you have capital a capital a that results in agouti coat okay and you have capital a capital a y this presence of this capital a y results in yellow color mice all right so this both is going to be yellow color mice whereas the homozygous recessive condition is not surviving okay that means when this allele is present in homozygous condition that is lethal for the individual it kills the mice so that is why it is called recessive lethal mutation when this allele is present in recessive condition it cannot survive but when this lethal allele is present only in one copy what it does is it just changes the phenotype from agouti it gives you yellow color mice okay so the change is only phenotypic changes there there is no lethal effect okay so when this allele is present in heterozygous condition it is going to change the phenotype that's why you got two out of three yellow mice and then why we are saying three mice because the homozygous condition is not surviving so you are not observing your three is to one ratio here all right so this is what is a uh, recessive lethal mutation now let's take one more example one more group now look at this group C now I think it would be easy for you to understand what will be the uh, outcome you have capital A capital A one uh, set of mice which have normal wild type copy okay and one set which would have heterozygous condition for the lethal allele that means this is going to be yellow color mice there is only one lethal allele present so when you cross them this is what you are going to get you would have half of them which contains the normal wild type uh, gene so you would have half of them agouti agouti mice and half of them since they would have heterozygous condition for the lethal allele there will be phenotypic change and you would get half yellow mice all right this is not going to be lethal what it does is it it interferes in your uh, function of a normal wild type gene and it changes the phenotype so in terms of skin color 
this lethal mutation when it is in heterozygous condition is acting as a dominant allele but in case of uh, lethality with respect to lethality it is recessive because it is uh, lethal only when it is in homozygous condition okay so do not get confused here when there is only one of the lethal allele is present in heterozygous condition it changes the skin color okay that is why it is dominant with uh, respect to skin color but when it comes to lethality when it is in only in homozygous condition it is lethal that is why we call it as recessive lethal mutation all right now the second type uh, is dominant lethal mutation and, and if we have understood recessive uh, lethal mutation properly I think dominant is going to be very much easier so the second type is dominant lethal mutation and as the term itself suggests that it is lethal when it is even in heterozygous condition that means even if one of the mutated allele is going to cause the disease so the example in human of dominant lethal mutation is Huntington's disease and it's a neurological disorder so what happens is even if one of the uh, allele that is mutated in the heterozygous condition it is going to give rise to this disease okay and if it is present in homozygous condition the onset of disease would be comparatively much earlier in the uh, life of an individual and it will result in early death compared to this in heterozygous condition the disease onset is uh, slow so that's about the dominant lethal allele even present of one allele is going to give rise to the disease in case of uh, recessive lethal mutation if there was only one allele present in heterozygous condition it interfered in the phenotype it did not uh, kill the individual it did not show any other uh, effect other than the phenotypic change but in case of dominant lethal mutation even if one lethal allele is present in heterozygous condition also it is going to give rise to disease so that's all that's all about lethal allele i hope this video was helpful do subscribe to the channel for new video every week and i'll see you next time until then keep learning